And Japan's nuclear crisis continues into this morning. Things have become so dangerous today at that nuclear power plant in Fukushima that the people who have been working to prevent a meltdown have now been told to leave. Joining us live this morning to give us some more insight into the problems surrounding the nuclear concerns in Japan is Dr. Carl Martini. He's an associate professor of physics at Western New England College in Springfield. Dr. Martini, thanks for joining us this morning. I think a lot of people here in the United States especially are concerned about what effect we may feel here. So first off, what chances of uh, radiation fallout do we have right here? Uh, absolutely none. So we are absolutely safe here. We are very far away from the scene in Japan and uh, there's a small amount of radiation being released uh, at the power plant in Japan uh, into the air, but uh, it will be so diluted uh, that by the time it arrives here, uh, it will be hard to even determine it in the background. And Dr. Martini, there are reports that people on the West Coast are actually getting medication in hopes of preventing some sort of um, exposure or if they feel like they've been exposed, but we talked a little bit off air about this and you say there's really no concern for them either, correct? Uh, that's correct. Also at the West Coast it's still uh, several thousand miles away, so there should be no concern at all for people going to the West Coast, living at the West Coast. Uh, because the release is still fairly minor in the moment uh, from that power plant. If we think about the historically nuclear problems here in the United States and around the world, we think of Three Mile Island in 1979 in Pennsylvania and Chernobyl in the 1980s in Russia. Where does this particular crisis rank among those at least two notable ones? Uh, as far as we can see in the moment, it seems to be similar to a Three Mile Island uh, accident. Uh, the only thing is there's uh, six reactors involved here compared to one reactor at Three Mile Island, but it's kind of uh, in a fairly similar situation. Uh, most of the material is contained in the reactor, but it's very worrisome that they had now some fires in the uh, pools where they're storing their spent nuclear fuel. And, Doctor, in terms of the exposure to people who are living around that plant, um, I had read something that it's really no more than, say, a CAT scan or radiation for cancer. I mean, is that the case? Obviously, the people inside the plant that are working are getting much higher levels, right? Uh, that is correct. Uh, most probably the exposure to the people on the ground uh, is fairly small. Uh, you need to be very close to the uh, plant to get higher exposures. Uh, but uh, it is always better to be uh, a little bit cautious than to run into danger. We'll talk about what's ahead in Japan and uh, at these uh, nuclear power plants uh, coming up in the next half hour with uh, Dr. Carl Martini, an associate professor of physics at Western New England College. Thanks for joining us this morning.